What's going on guys, it's your rifle here, and in this video I have you a complete guide for the Pocket Infinity. The Pocket Infinity is one bad mother ucky. One bad mother ucky. And for the perks, well I'll get to those later in the video. Just to put in perspective of how awesome this weapon is, look at this LEGO remodel of the Pocket Infinity. Heck yeah! You think someone would take that much time and remodel something shitty? No, this fusion rifle is well worth it. So let's get started on how to get this Pocket Infinity. Like all exotic bounties, they are random to get. I don't care how much you want to say one method works better than the other method. All the exotic bounties that I've gotten have been random. And how I get them is I try to do as many bounties as I can each day. After a while, they do pop up. And when the exotic bounty does pop up, you'll have three selections to choose from. If one of your selections is a Shattered Memory Fragment, and you are wanting the Pocket Infinity, well, choose Shattered Memory Fragment because that is the exotic bounty that will get you this exotic fusion rifle Pocket Infinity. For the first task for Shattered Memory Fragment, and actually the task that got me the most puzzled, is we're going to have to find a ghost on Venus. And it's a sneaky little guy. It's right at the beginning if you want to head down the right path and keep heading down the path until you get to the staircase that leads to another area on your left. But right by that staircase is actually a room that you can enter. This is an enemy spawn room. And inside this enemy spawn room is the first objective to find the ghost. This is the lost ghost that you're going to need to find. Alright, for the next task for the Pocket Infinity, we're going to have to take down a Vex Gate Lord. And an easy way to take down the Gate Lord is to actually select the mission on Venus, Eye of a Gate Lord. We're going to have to up the difficulty just because that's part of the task as well. But taking down the Gate Lord, there's nothing really to this task. You just got to find the time to get through the mission. And an easy tip to get through the mission, buy plenty of synthesis. That way you are always stocked on your strongest gun. The next task is plain and simple, it says bring the ghost to the speaker. So now we're going to have to bring this unlocked ghost, since we've taken down the gate lord, to the speaker. Excellent. Take it. Now thanks to the speaker we have the fusion rifle schematics. Up next we're going to have to take this to the gunsmith to see what he can do with it. And when we take it to the gunsmith, he says this weapon is pretty much new to him, and he needs parts. Our rare or higher quality fusion rifle parts. We have to dismantle rare or higher quality fusion rifles. So that means we are going to have to dismantle 10 blue fusion rifles or higher. The good news about this is, there is a shortcut to get all these fusion rifles. The gunsmith actually sells blue fusion rifles. You're just going to have to have enough glimmer. And if you don't have enough glimmer, well, there is a glimmer farm right on Earth Patrol where you keep killing these Ultra Hives. If you're using the Black Idols, aka the Black Wax Idols, when doing this farm run, you'll get glimmer fast. And it's very simple to do. Pretty much go in here, kill them, and then leave the room. I take up the stairs, but you can also go to the back of the subway tunnel as well. Just to let you all know, the gunsmith doesn't always sell these blue fusion rifles. But when the gunsmith is selling them, your best bet is to buy these blue fusion rifles or to start saving now because this exotic bounty will be coming out of nowhere. You can just stock blue or higher fusion rifles in your vault if you wanted to. But nonetheless, you should start saving now. But when you do dismantle enough fusion rifles, you'll have to bring the charged core to the gunsmith. It's called Charge Exotic Weapon Core. And once you take that task to the gunsmith, the gunsmith will exchange you with the unstable prototype fusion rifle frame. Now you're going to have to get fusion rifle kills in the weekly nightfall strike. You're going to have to get 200 to be precise. The best bet to get all these fusion rifle kills in the weekly nightfall strike, we're going to want to make sure we are stocked up on special ammo synthesis. Or if you have the Vex Mythic class, in your case it'll be primary ammo. And just keep replaying the nightfall. It doesn't matter if you've already beaten the nightfall, the kills will still count. And no, the enemies in the beginning of the Nightfall do not count for kills. Like the very weak enemies in the very beginning of the Nightfall strikes, those do not count for kills. A little tip to maybe help make your progress go a little faster for these kills is to have some allies in your game to weaken the enemies. And then you finish them off with the fusion rifle kill. Just ask whoever's in your game to help you out with this exotic bounty. Say you're just needing the fusion rifle kills if you could help weaken the enemies. And then pretty much you finish off the enemies. That's the best tip I got for you for getting these Nightfall Strike kills. 
Like I said, the best bet is just to play the Nightfall. But once you get all the 200 Nightfall Strike kills, you will then get the Stabilized Prototype. You'll have to take this to the Gunsmith, and then the Gunsmith will reward you with the Pocket Infinity. Now since we've got the Pocket Infinity, I guess I'll go ahead and wrap up the perks for the Pocket Infinity and show a little bit of gameplay with it as well. Just to start this off, I found this guide on the Reddit forum about some fun facts with the Pocket Infinity. As you guys can see, I'm going through the perks right now, and you guys can read what these perks do. But I'm going to go ahead and share with you some fun facts about this weapon. They're just trying to help out the community. Here's what it says in the forum. Firstly, unless you are using it to obliterate bosses, pick the stability perk rather than increased magazine size. The recoil on it is so ridiculous in full auto, I usually don't even bother to scope in. The second fun fact for the Pocket Infinity on this forum says, Full auto fired from this weapon counts as one burst for the kill two enemies with a single fusion rifle burst. In other words, keep that trigger held down and you'll get the bounty. Another fun fact that this forum has, it says, Finally, this gun has a chance. I've heard a 25% chance to return missed shots to directly to the magazine. That's incredible for a fusion rifle, guys. That is a perk that you can't unlock as well. It's called the Pocket Infinity. However, a missed shot from the Pocket Infinity appears to mean a one ammo fusion burst where even only one of the bolts in the burst miss. What this means is that ammo can be returned to the magazine even if some of the bursts hit an enemy. This player actually learned this when he killed two drags with three full auto bursts by sweeping it across them, and the magazine refilled to max ammo as if it was by magic. If you're going to use this weapon for PvP, well, another question was asked, stability or ammo, which upgrade do you prefer in PvP? And the answer was stability 100%. The reason being is because the ammo is atrocious for PvP, it's next to impossible to hit someone with more than one shot due to the insane recoil. So keep that in mind guys, if you're going to be using the Pocket Infinity in the PvP. And also a lot of people have a question, which one would they prefer, Pocket Infinity or Plan C for PvE or PvP? Should I switch over if I'm coming from Plan C Fusion Rifle? I'm going to leave that comparison up for you guys. Which one do you prefer? Pocket Infinity or Plan C? Do you prefer the Pocket Infinity for PvE or PvP or both? Or do you prefer the Plan C for PvE or PvP or both? Which one seems to play out better? I'm going to let you guys answer that because that is a question that a lot of people have. And the comments should have information to answer your questions about the Plan C or Pocket Infinity. As you can see, the Pocket Infinity does have the three-shot reload. But overall, this weapon is incredible. And if you do run across this exotic bounty shattered memory fragment, I highly suggest getting it. Yes, I am a huge fan of the Pocket Infinity, and I'm not going to say turn down this weapon. But that's about wrapping up this Destiny video, guys. I hope it has been helpful for you all. If you want to stick around for a lot more Destiny content, then please remember to subscribe. You are more than welcomed at this channel. And also, if this video was enjoyable or helpful in any way, please remember to leave a simple like. It helps out the video a lot, and it's highly appreciated from me. I spent a lot of time editing these videos, and you guys help me out a lot just by simply liking the video. But if the video wasn't enjoyable or helpful in any way, then don't like the video. I completely understand. We all have our opinions. But I'm out of here, though, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. Oh, you're so sweet, baby. Thank you. Oh. Ah, bitches, I got help! I got help! <laughs> what the fuck? What the f ah! Come on! Come on! Rifle yeah. what the fuck? You're so weird, how you steal all the bitches? <laughs>